Hey guys, I'm Lewis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to go through the benefits of property investing and why you should consider property as a long-term investment strategy uh, to reach your goals over the long run. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, it'll help me get my name out there in the investing community on YouTube. Um, so let's get right into it. So property, property is a fantastic asset class and it's something I'm looking to invest in over the long term to secure my wealth and financial independence. Um, property investing in the UK is one of the most popular forms of investment and there's good reason for that. So yeah, let's get right into it. Benefit number one has to be cash flow for me. Cash flow in property is where you take the rent minus all your expenses, expenses including your mortgage, uh, repairs, insurance and other costs and that's the cash flow amount is the amount of profit you get each month from your property. So set, let's say you rent 600 quid and then you take off your interest, insurance, uh, management fees, etc., and then you're left with £250 in cash flow. That's profit each month that property is paying you. Um, and why is this a benefit? It's a benefit because every month you see cash coming to your pocket. Um, obviously, at the end of the year, you're going to get taxed on that amount as well. But the asset is paying you instantly. It's a constant stream of income. And that's one, one reason why... I am going to be investing in property because if you get enough of them, it can eventually replace your income and that's a very powerful tool to have. Um, and as well as this over time, as inflation increases, you can increase the rent each time. So say if a new tenant decides to, a tenant leaves and a tenant comes in, you can then raise the rents if, if at all possible, which means your cash flow is then increasing. Um, so yeah, cash flow is reason number one. Benefit number two, so number two has to be leverage. Leverage in the UK for buying property is readily available. 80% um, of all house purchases are done using a mortgage. So let's just say the, the market for financing property is out there and it always has been and generally I assume it always will be. Um, and leverage is very powerful so it amplifies your return. So say if you want to buy a house worth £100,000, um, you can buy that property by putting down a 25% deposit, so 25,000, um, and then the, the rest of it would be on mortgage. So you could buy an asset worth 100 grand for a quarter of the price. This is very powerful because this can amplify your returns in the long run. Um, as house prices go up, um, say if they go up 2% a year with inflation, um, let's say in year two, your house is now worth 102,000. Um, you've made 2,000 pounds just in capital appreciation. Um, and you've already put 25,000 in, so you've nearly made a 10% return capital, appreci capital appreciation rise on the original investment. Um, and this is a big deal. Um, it basically means that you can amplify your returns um, and if leverage is used correctly, you can scale a portfolio quickly. And and yeah, like I say, finance is readily available for property because it's a tangible asset. Um, so if, if anything went wrong for any reason with, um, you know, you had to be repossessed the bank, I'm more than happy to lend on it because they can just repossess your property. Um, so leverage is benefit number two. So benefit number three, benefit number three has to be property as an inflation hedge. So where the inflation hedge hedging from property comes from, it comes from a positive relationship between positive GDP growth and the demand for property over time. So the easiest way to think about it is over time as, it, as economies expand, the, the demand for property um, increases and this means that the rent will increase which then in turn means the capital appreciation of the properties will increase. Therefore property over time maintains its capital value as inflationary pressures are put onto the tenant through higher rents and as well as this through um, higher capital values over time. And on a personal note this is one of the main reasons for me invested in property. The inflation hedging capability is fantastic and it means your buying power over time is maintained um, through investing through this asset class. So benefit number four, benefit number four for me would have to be the stability of property over time. Um, so unlike other asset classes such as Bitcoin and the stock market, um, which are very volatile, property prices over time have maintained their value. Um, you can see corrections and dips at times, and the only time um, the property market has properly crashed um, in recent memory has been the financial crisis, financial crisis of 2008. Um, and this is because um, financial crisis was related to property. However, um, generally property is a very stable asset class. And for just, to, just for peace of mind's sake, having an asset which you know 
um, over time has kept its you know kept its value. Um, if you're an investor who can't stomach 20%, 30% dips, which is completely normal in the stock market over time. This is why property is an interesting asset class and preferred asset class for many people. Um, and it's one reason why my parents actually invested in property because they couldn't stomach the stock market. So uh, that's one reason they invested in property. Now that I've come through all of my benefits of property investing, what are your benefits? What, what do you like about property investing? Um, I would love to know in the comments below. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and more property content will be coming soon as well, such as vlogs when we can get out due to the current circumstances. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.